It's all too easy to judge from afar. I got this great question from uh, Melissa on um, on Facebook, and it just sparked a whole lot of not answers, but responses I have many times. And um, about well, I don't know how many years ago, ten or fifteen years ago, if I had a, if I could say that I had a conversation with the universe or God or a still voice, whatever it was, wisdom, whatever you want to call it, was this conversation, would you, would you do anything for me? And it's like, yeah, I'd do anything for you. And, and would you, are you willing to lose your friends and follow me? Like, yeah, and I thought to myself, you know, what friends? But no, of course I didn't say that. But, and then, uh, are you willing to lose your reputation for me? And, that's kind of what happened for a while because of the people that I chose to include in my life or I chose to become one of or I chose you know to live with in a sense in a, in a, in a community way and it's just that love aspect again these pe a lot of people who don't feel included in churches they're not allowed they don't feel like they're allowed to be there or or they don't fit into certain parts of you know like they're not us, they're not one of us. And so I think what, what, I, what I decided to do was I would rather, I, I'll make a choice. If I have somebody here that I'm loving and encouraging and that offends somebody else, um, then the choice is really simple to me. I'll happily offend somebody else, a fan, an audience, or a leader or something and still reach out and love this person. That's just a choice. And to me, that's what Jesus does. Jesus fought religious people because he was hanging out with um, unsavory people in the eyes of these leaders. And it's a no-brainer now. Now it's just a lifestyle. Um, so, and then I, I guess I find I write music for, for the people who don't feel included in different things. And, or I, uh, or I happily go and play with them and work with them in their communities. I just really love that. That's a, that's been like a gift to me. And now, you know, when you've done something for a while, it becomes natural, and I would never go back to the other way. Anyway, her question was great. Thank you, Melissa, for stirring up the, the little gray cells in my head. The little grace for you and sun for me.